It's time to four. Time for the random stuff portion of my uh, of my Com C mail day, not EPAC mail day. So uh, yeah, this is just random non PC non EPAC stuff that I just happened to pick up. So let's begin. Start off with this Yoda uh, metal framed sketch reproduction. This is from Stellar Signatures. Yeah, 2019 Stellar Signatures out of a hundred pretty cool looking card I thought it was nice so of course Yoda so, uh, next is a Craig Biggio uh, local lore gold from a uh, 2016 Pantheon yeah I like this design pretty nice out of 25 game used yeah, nice design. 2016 Pantheon Baseball. Whoever designed that did one good job. Speaking of good looking baseball cards, uh, Al Simmons. Hetched in Cooperstown. Little ruby up there. It's a ruby, it's red. It's out of 15. Ruby is guaranteed. Yeah, pretty nice card. This was like five bucks. So, yeah, there, there are a lot of good deals in here too. Um, a lot of this... In fact, almost all of it is uh, from the uh, Comsi Black Friday sale. So, yeah, there are some good deals in here. Uh, Andrea Bargnani Choice Award. This is actually a PC card. This is in the you know, wrong video. Uh, if you know me, I have a ton of these triangle autographs. Yeah, this is cheap, out of 15. Purple. OG Prism Rookie. Honest Green, some other random basketball cards, and a uh, Anthony Davis Silver Prism. Yeah, nothing much. Another one of these Maurice Cheeks. It's in the wrong video. This is from uh, the year before the last one. I think this is 11-12 or 12-13, I'm not sure. This is the uh, Silver, I think it's just called Silver, out of uh, 25. The Shack Pristine Gems. This is a good looking card. From Tops Pristine. Early 2000s. If you're wondering why Shaq's picture looks a little weird, it's because the, uh, the jersey is actually reflective. Typically with the uh, with Chrome cards, the player themselves is not actually reflective. Like you, can see, you can see Shaq's skin does not like reflect like the uh, rest of the Chrome does. Typically they don't do that with the jerseys, but they did here, so. You know, it's cool, it's like five bucks. Pretty nice looking card, why not? I want to some football cards. And then Jadavian Clowney. White gold out of 199. Cheap, pretty good looking card, why not? Another cheap, look good looking card. Sterling Shepard uh, out of 299. Gold. I think this is 2020 luminance, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, pretty nice picture. I like it. This was flagged as EX to near mint. I'm not seeing why it was flagged as that. The card looks fine to me, but whatever. It was cheaper because of that, so it ended up working out in my favor. So, yeah, nice picture. And this was cheaper, Shard Men and all. Patch, game used. Pretty nice patch. It's out of what ten? This is like a dollar seventy-five. So why not? Not the uh, most collected or valuable player, of course, but a nice card. Another one that's a nice card. Isaiah Peed out of five, like silhouette patch from Top Supreme. This is a few bucks. You know why not? If the if it's a nice card like this, I'll typically pick it up. As long as it's cheap, of course. Yeah, pretty cool. This is a good looking card. Jalen Rager. Supercharged from 2020. Uh, Elements. This is like the silver hollow foil parallel out of 47. I forget what it's called. I think it's Cobalt. I don't know. They have the, uh, the elemental name for the parallels. I forget what this one's called. But yeah, check out that card. This thing looks nuts. 
super nice patch too. Although it, it's probably not even player worn. It's a yeah, enclosed authentic memorabilia. It's not from any specific game or event. Doubt he even wore this, but whatever. Yeah, pretty good looking card. Check out that design. Only if Upper Deck would do some hockey cards like that. Those would be nice. Another nice card. Dion Kane from Panini 1. Uh, this is like the gold parallel out of 10. Hard to see, but once you see it in the light there, you can see it's all got all sorts of cool looking texture to it. It's a pretty cool card. This did come in the one touch, by the way. Uh, but the one touch was scratched to hell, so I just took it out and left it at work. So, yeah, it looks nicer out of it anyway, so. Yeah, this is some another Black Friday card, super cheap. Same with this, Aussie Newsome. Game used, uh, jersey number, jersey parallel from Immaculate. 42 of 82. Yeah, Immaculate cards are nice. Pick that up. Of course, not the uh, greatest condition, but as I said in my last video, all, all card companies have problems when it comes to thicker stock acetate cards and quality control. You can see all sorts of scratches and smudges and whatnot. It's just how it is. Game used, pretty cool. So that was like three bucks Black Friday. So yeah, I like game used old school stuff. Now on to some hockey. Uh, Regal Achievements, Modano, and Crown, pretty good looking card, super cheap. Pavel Buchnevich, Autograph, Gemography from, I don't know, 1819? Yeah, 1819 Black Diamond. Not a cool looking card, though, super cheap. Love my old school, old, I love my old school memorabilia, here's one of them. Paul Coffey, Colossal, out of 50. There were four of these up for, I think, 350, and I only picked up one, and I regret that. Uh, there was um, three black pieces and one white, and I got the white. I should have bought a black, too. Oh, well, whatever. Nice card, of course, game used. Yeah, ignore all the fingerprints. My hands are freezing. It's cold in here. Uh, Premier Swatches of Clayton Keller out of 99. This was like a dollar. A few more uh, Premier Swatches. This is from 1920. The most recent Premier release. Pasternak, Pedersen, and Barzell. These were super cheap. These popped up for so cheap. I think these two were $3 each. And this was like $1.90. Something like that. These weren't even on Black Friday sale. These just popped up. Super cheap, so I picked them up. Nice cards. Pasternak sells very, very well. Because he doesn't have a whole lot of rookie cards. So it's Probably like a $15 card. And the last card is this Kenneth Dixon. Uh, black gold team logos. Of course, one of one. This was cheap, not even $10. I think it was like 9 30 something like that as you can see very scratched uh there wasn't a condition though for this so scratches i'm not all too pleased about but whatever it was super cheap if this was like a 150 dollar card and it came scratched like that with no condition notes i would not be pleased but since this wasn't even ten dollars eh, whatever i don't care yeah, nice card, very heavy. That is all for the random stuff portion. Uh, next will be the uh, PC stuff. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.